Hello and welcome back fellows. While working with Excel spreadsheets, we often need someone to have a quick check or a quick review before we send it over to a certain group of people or to our management. Why do we want someone to have a look at it? Because we use our selection of colors, our formatting, our own way of setting up the file, which is sometimes important to be reviewed before it goes to people who are really going to use that data to make it efficient to understand, to make them really use this data in a way that you want them to use it. Well, you don't have anyone around to have a look at, that's not a problem. Excel can do that for you. So Microsoft Excel can have a quick look on your formatting and your selection of different sort of makeup of the file before you send it over and it certainly does help. I will demonstrate a few examples and you will see that. For this I'm using accessibility option. This is generally uh, something that is used to make a file more inclusive in terms of accessible to the people with disability. But let me tell you something, it's very handy if we use it on our file and have a quick look before we send it over to anyone who is supposed to use, review or manipulate this data for future use. So if you go to review tab, in review tab, you have this accessibility option. Click on it and on the right side of your spreadsheet accessibility checker will appear now accessibility checker goes down into the file and looks at what kind of formatting changes you may need to make this file more understandable and efficient in terms of usage so in this particular file i deliberately made some mistakes formatting related or naming convention related mistakes which now I would like Excel to identify for your understanding and then we will fix them because Excel will also guide us how to fix them and uh, trust me it is a very efficient way an easy way to explain how it can efficiently help you to fix it so for example now when I have this you can see here in the bottom accessibility investigate means you need to check what kind of changes you may need to make here. So there are two major warnings here. And when we talk about warning, it means that the content that is most banal, uh, in, in most of the cases makes the document difficult to understand for people with disabilities. Now, this is something you may be very careful. So if it brings warnings, it's better to check what kind of errors there are and then we can fix them. So the first one is default sheet name. So if we go down, it says sheet two, sheet four, sheet one. These are default names. You better change them. And this is logical, guys. This is common sense that if there is sheet one, who knows what's this sheet one? What is this data? So for example, this is the document um, data related with, let's say, sales. So I need to change it. But how do I know how to fix it? So if I click on it, you will see additional information why to fix it. You see, default sheet names like sheet one makes navigation through the workbook difficult. That is clear, not only for the people with disabilities, but generally as well, have a look at it. This is a problem and we need to fix it. Now, Excel is giving you a very simple way to fix it as well. Steps to fix it, how to rename it, right click on it and all that. It's very, very basic. So if you come down here, you can even directly go to the action, click on it and it is enabling you just to change the name. So let's say, sales there we go it's fixed now it is out of the list second one i want to change this one as well rename title let's say fixed last one another one so let's say gp it's finished so the first part of warning has been sorted out now the next one hard to read text contrast so we often contrast you can see on the screen as well this power table it's a contrast of data so if there is a contrast which is difficult to read that can also be a problem and we have a lot of problems here if we see there that is certainly a problem i will make a little change 
for example I will change this data type to this one there we go now I've changed it and we'll see if it has any impact anywhere um, for us but before that we will go and check what is this sales the contrast is not good there are solutions down there we can see how to fix this we'll go through that click on it and it's asking me to check a quick style so let's say if I select a very basic style it's gone I don't see it here similarly uh, this is also a contrast that is not really working fine and why it's not working fine I will demonstrate you see here now this is also sorted out um, GP pivot table we need to change the style as well make it more sensible for understanding here we go you see this contrast is also like people for example if there are colorblind people they cannot see red and this contrast is anyway it's very shocking for normal eye as well so I will just simply click on it it's changed here another contrast you see we can't even see the text in this case you see from A to C so we need to give it a color oh now we can see that and the next one you see we don't even see the text here so it's a bad contrast click on it back we can see that and the last one contrast really it's not working fine change it and fill let's say it's it's recommendation is there so I select the fill and it's fine now you can see down there good to go so our data is good to go now we can easily move forward with our spreadsheet which is now if you see the file that I shared with you in the start and the file you see on the screen now Excel has mentored you out of this situation and you have you have sales here very clearly title here GP and 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 very nice kind of a professional uh, titles of the columns that are easily readable and 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 understandable so you can use Excel as a mentor this is a facility to help us making our file more understandable to people with disabilities at the same time I think we can use this opportunity as an Excel for being a mentor for us helping us with basic guidelines of how to work with Excel this kind of utility is very handy for the people who just started learning and working in Excel yet it is also very good for professionals because you know you never know you have huge spreadsheets and, and you can't go and check each one of the columns there maybe you imported some columns from some other colleagues so it's better to have a check I will always be careful while sending out my spreadsheets considering the fact the data is important information is important and it is not just sharing the spreadsheets but getting it processed in most efficient way fellas I hope you enjoyed it I'm quite sure most of you will use this use this and share your comments in the comments area I would like to see your experiences around this and if you have anything to add please do not hesitate to do subscribe to the channel, do like the videos, share it with your friends and colleagues. I hope you enjoyed it. Looking forward to speak to you again. I wish you a wonderful day and stay safe. Bye-bye.